Well, I think uh, we were always interested in making sure that the Opera House was uh, recognizable as a performing arts center and an opera house building. So we wanted a dramatic statement uh, for the auditorium uh, enclosure. Um, we decided that the red glass was the right option and, and the red was the dominant color that we wanted to, uh, to give the, the, the right message of what the building is all about. The glass we use is laminated glass, which means there's two sheets of glass which are laminated together. And the, and the color is made up with this interlayer that's set in between the two pieces of glass. And that interlayer is made up of many thin uh, plastic films, if you will, that make up the red color. I mean, I think starting with somewhere around about four to five panels a day and then moving up to maybe even as, as many as 10 to 15 panels a day would be uh, unexpected. The glass is fabricated in Germany. It's shipped to uh, uh, Houston. In Houston the glass is bent for the curved panels as you see that are being installed at the moment. Um, the frame structure is manufactured in China and this, this support frame is, uh, is what actually fixes to the building. Each one of these panels is approximately, and they vary due to the, uh, the, the different conditions, but approximately 10 feet by 4 feet in dimension. Um, and then there are approximately 1,100 panels in total uh, covering the drum building. So we looked at how we would light the red glass. Um, but in fact, what we found worked very well was actually lighting the red glass with red light from, from its front face. is we want to turn this on its edge. We want this to be a vertically staffed theater. They said, you know, obviously we know that you need support. We know that you need columns to hold all of this up, but we would like as few columns as possible, and we'd like this, this lower 27 feet to be as transparent as possible so that we could, in essence, lift up the bottom of the building and open it up to the exterior to give or enhance the sense of, a, of the building kind of floating is that not to provide any supports at the corners. If you pull the supports away from the corners and so the corners are always free, is that it enhances that kind of experience and that look of something kind of floating out in space. We also need to resist the wind and earthquake loads and so that means that some of these columns need to be sloped so that they act as a brace, as a seismic or a wind brace. So we said, okay, well let's take this column and we could either bend it out or we could bend it back in. I think this would be an amazing building.